I'm running as a write-in against Katherine Starkey. Um, the, a lot of people ask me why I'm a write-in. Um, I like to get that off the table right away. Um, to get on the ballot, it costs $6,174. Um, I have a single mom, and I work for myself cleaning houses. So I really don't have that kind of money laying around. Um, after going through county things and what's going on and trying to help the taxpayers, including myself, for the past four years, I really got nowhere. I got ignored, stonewalled, and gaslit. Um, I actually got so frustrated that I was ready to just sell my house and move. Um, I have a almost 16-year-old daughter that I homeschool, and I look after my elderly mother. Um, when I told them that I wanted to sell our house and move, uh, they were devastated. The tears started coming and everything. Um, I went to bed that night. When I woke up the next morning, God straight up told me that, no, I'm not moving. I'm going to fight. I'm going to stay, and I'm going to fight for the county that I actually love. Um, believe it or not, the more I drive around to deliver signs, the more I fall in love with it. Um, so I'm going to do this, um, and I'm not going to stop. We have a lot of issues. Uh, we have increasing taxes. We're lacking infrastructure. The um, development that we were all so worried about um, with possible flooding has happened. Um, we have residents on the other side of the county that are still suffering from this overdevelopment. Um, it really doesn't take much to figure out there's corruption somewhere. Just look at the donors. Um, we also have some of our commissioners on the planning board. Um, and I know all this because I have attended Commissioner board meetings, school board meetings, mosquito control meetings, human trafficking meetings, <laughs> and even REC meetings. Um, so for four years, I have been, you know, hands on uh, trying to figure out what's going on in our county and what are the things we need to do to fix it. And I believe that this is the year that we can do that. We have four seats up this year. It's a very important year. And um, I'm one of the people, I'm a taxpayer. Um, I live very modestly, and I'm okay with that. I'm not in this to line my pockets. I have Jesus, so I don't need to do that. And I really hope I have your confidence and your vote. Thank you. Okay, how can um, people reach out to you or find you? I have a Facebook page. It is Janine Duffy for County Commissioner District 3. Um, it's very easy to send me a message there. Um, I, I'm pretty active on it. Um, I do have a website. It is not really currently up and running. Um, like I said, I, I'm running as a write-in. I actually, um, God spoke to me about two weeks before qualifying date. So I didn't have the four years to get all these things done. But considering it's only been about four or five months, um, done pretty good. Um, there's also um, my phone number is 727-418-0842. Um, so you can give me a call at any time. I'm actually very reachable, approachable, people person, and I could talk about local politics and religion for hours, so. <laughs> Thank you. The primary reason that I decided to run was that I just saw irresponsible growth all over the county, and in doing that, sort of rubber stamp every community that showed up in front of the commission, we're slowly getting rid of our culture, our communities, the things that matter and make us different and make us special. And so I felt like it was time to say no. <laughs> so I'd like to see us do some things like put in stronger ordinances that make it more difficult for cookie cutter sprawl that allow us to preserve our natural resources. Um, after all of this flooding and everything, we certainly learned a big lesson about how unprepared we were for dealing with stormwater and the less than sexy concepts of infrastructure. <laughs> 
but um, they're so important. You know, our infrastructure has been lagging because we allow those large scale home developers to defer their impact fees for up to 10 years. So the roads that we need to build and the schools that we need to build and the stormwater treatment and the stormwater culverts and everything we need in the way of that infrastructure is only gonna get paid for in 10 years. But we have the impact of all of those new people coming to our communities right now. So I'd like to see that end. <laughs> Interesting. How can people find more about you and your policies? Sure. So I have my website, which is www.votelisamoretti.com. I also have a YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash at votelisamoretti. And I'm pretty robust on Facebook, too, and that's Lisa Moretti from Pasco. I always remind people, when you go to those sites, you have to put the word vote in because I also share the name Lisa Moretti with a professional wrestler. And we grew up a half a mile from one another. We're the same age. She went to the rival high school. Oh my God. And I get a lot of email for her that she's the most beautiful woman in the WWE. Oh, wow. <laughs> so oh if you don't God. put the vote in, we're going to end up watching wrestling videos. <laughs> that is so. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you so much. So, my name is Nick Fiorentino. I'm running for Circuit Court Judge Group 14 for Pinellas and Pasco. That means all residents, all voters can vote in my election or my race. Uh, I've been an attorney for 21 years. I practice, I have experience in all four areas of the law, family, criminal, civil, and probate. I've also been an arbitrator, a mediator, and a parent coordinator. So I have a lot of experience also being a neutral in situations like that. I'm running for a circuit court judge because I think we need attorneys who are willing to step away from their successful practices and serve. I can't really have policies. I'm not allowed to have policies when you run for judge. So okay, gotcha. So can't take, have positions or policies. If people want to learn more about you, you know, how can they find you? So our website is Fiorentino, F-I-O-R-E-N-T-I-N-O, the number four, judge.com. Perfect. And we're also on Facebook. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So my name is Thomas Salato. I'm running for county commissioner, District 5. I'm a longtime resident here since 1978. I'm a business owner for 31 plus years. I'm also a volunteer in many different kinds of community volunteer organizations. Um, I got involved with politics back in 2011 when I became a classmate for Leadership Pasco and then I was a board member for nine years until I uh, turned out. And one of the things that I feel is important here is our excessive growth that's happening in our county. And I feel that uh, that's streamlining a, a lot of problems in our area. Obviously flooding, which is one that's going on right now. Um, it's been talked about uh, in smaller conversations, so now we have to have a bigger conversation about it. Coupled with that growth, of course, it impacts our fire and rescue and sheriff's department uh, for their resources, depending on where the growth is. And it's spreading out everywhere, so then he's burdened with that challenge, those challenges and fire and rescue as well. And then our water, our water table is the lowest it's ever been. It's, been re it's being replenished with toilet to tap. And I find that, that, that to be disturbing. And um, I think we need to look at that as well, as you know, why is that's happening and can we do better with those. Those are my top three, uh, I would say, priorities. Homelessness is obviously another one that we need to address and helping our veterans, I feel. Um, maybe get them on a road to recovery with through some kind of educational services. Um, but if you want to reach out to me, I'm at Vote Salato. That's C E L O T T O dot com, and I'm also on Facebook at the same uh, page, Facebook Vote Salato dot Vote Salato. Excuse me. Well, thank you, and I appreciate your vote. David Wallace. I'm one of four candidates for Mosquito Control seat number one. Uh, my name will be the very last name, David Wallace. Um, I've held elective office before about the same type of budget. Uh, I'm a Tea Party Republican, so I'm going to bring fiscal accountability. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop the, the unnecessary growth and spending on the, the new campus. I think the campus is a great idea, but it was, it's poorly 
planned. It's an isolated island, and, and we need to change the community within Pasco County Mosquito Control to be a part of our community partnership. We have other governing agencies that could uh, partner with us, and that, and the campus should reflect that partnership as part of the community. The next thing is, is our we're a constitutional republic, and our population has quadrupled multiple times since its inception, 50 some odd years ago. So we should have representation on the current population. So we need to go from a three to a five member board. And finally, I think we need a strategic plan. The way they're spending money is hip pocket. They just pull it out and make a motion and then they spend money. And there's no thought process long term on how to make sure that that money is, has the impact that it was created to do. So I want to require a strategic plan all the way down to the department levels. So each department head understands what their purpose is for the fiscal year and they plan and, and they, they operate accordingly. All expenditures will be relinked and, and related to the strategic plan or we won't spend that money. So those are the three points that I'm running for. Uh, I've held elective office before. I've been in the community for a while. I am one of the, the, the local communities in Moon Lake that has the, uh, the viruses that are killing people. So it directly impacts me personally. So I'm very interested in, in providing a Tea Party conservative point of view to the board. Okay, so your seat contributes to those things that you're saying your seat that yeah there's three for. there's currently three commissioners mm -hmm. and you have seat one two and three mm -hmm. uh seat one and three are up for a re-election mm -hmm. seat two is not up for re-election right. so those two boards are, but for seat one there are four candidates that are running for that one seat gotcha. on seat three there are two candidates an incumbent okay. and, and a previous commissioner but all of those policies or things you want to contribute to the seat you're going correct for contributes to that yes okay do you have a card or how can people no, follow it's up? Wallace with you? for Pasco, W A L L I S F O R Pasco dot com. Perfect. My name is Dr. Chris Dunning. I'm trying to get an actual educator in the position of superintendent of schools. We need someone who understands our system, understands what our children need, our families, and staff. And you really need someone who's been in the system to be able to do that. Great. How can we follow you or find you to learn more about your policies? So definitely my website is the best place to find out about myself and my policies. It's www.drdunningforpasco.com. That's D-R-D-U-N-N-I-N-G, the number four, pasco.com. You can also go to my Facebook page to see posts and things that I'm up to, uh, but definitely the website's the best place. Perfect.